Hello, this is Matthew Fingerly coming to you from Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is Hydro T LLC closing the loop for your growing needs. Hydro T Brewer.com. Please visit my website. All right, today I'm going to show you the components and the operations of the 20 gallon closed loop compost brewer. This is a patent pending brewer. That dispenses tea on a continuous basis to another additional container allowing you to double triple the capacity of tea you brew that's the vortex bucket the vortex bucket is opened ended at the bottom that's your stand and that's where tea is dispensed into your additional container the vortex bucket when, once it starts vortexing structures your tea it makes the molecules of the fluid wetter more absorbable for the plants and it creates additional aeration it creates that vacuum just for that for your aeration so it's aerating mixing and stirring that additional container so you have no stagnant hot spots in your additional container as this system is brewing it's a 28 gallon brute container like I said this is a 20 gallon brewer so I can double this little 20 gallon brewer can now become a 40 gallon brewer. Um, I'll come over here, I'll show you the filtering system. This is the filtering system. There are no glued fittings in this. Everything comes right apart. Demonstration there, that pops right off. This is your airlift chamber, that is your filter. This pops off. Man, easy maintenance. Easy to maintain. The filter is screwed in, it screws right out, and you can clean that. Put this back on real quick. All right. This right here is your overflow protection. This is a float valve. This float valve controls the submersible pump that is in your additional container. That pump attach this poly line it comes up which is attached to my patent pending wand shut off valve for controlling the fluid the flow of fluid that comes back to your brewer this is your wand the wand has holes in it so when fluid starts flowing through your compost wand it creates a, a vacuum for additional aeration for your brewer and the reason why I designed this the way I have is because before I had bulk, bulkhead fittings attached to the brewer and it made it real and cumbersome to um, tear apart and to clean my system and all that. So I, I developed this wand and it's easily removable. It helps me stir my, my brew, keeps everything clean. I can cl actually even clean my filter off with this. So it's a really nice little setup. It's uh, one tool for many uses, as I say. Um, down here, you got your air pump that runs your system. Your air line runs up and around the brewer, comes up to the top, comes back around, and attaches here. This is your air chamber, and the reason why I have that is if any debris gets in your air line, you can pop this off, it's not glued, this end cap comes right off. You can clean, clean any debris that gets in your lines. And really the only time that, that might happen is when you're cleaning your system, when you have your system shut down. But this will prevent any clogs. Let's pop that off, clean it out. This bulkhead fitting here is strictly for your discharge. Come around. This T fitting down here. These pipes here is attached to your filtering system. This end cap can be removed and replaced with a garden hose or any type of, of hose to, to um, go out to additional grow system because this is still part of your filtering system. Now when you remove your filter, does this become a discharge? Then you can remove this end cap. So only when you remove your filter does this become a discharge. Other than that, 
you can use this to dispense tea out of go to go out to a different grow system because it's still attached to your filtering system this is your control valve here for controlling the flow of tea that is dispensed out of your brewer through this dispensing spigot to your vortex bucket this is not glued so you can extend this out to wherever you want to and also it turns it's a 180 too it can turn on 180 degree axis so there's that this is a plug-and-play system Here's your cord that you plug into your standard outlet, preferably a GFI protected outlet. This right here is your overflow protection. It's a piggyback connection. This cord here is your submersible pump that's housing your additional container right there. You plug that into your piggyback connection. Your overflow protection turns on and off your submersible pump and that'll prevent any overflows issues in your 20 gallon brewer. So that control valve, I know I didn't cover this, but that control valve controls the level of tea being brewed inside your, your 20 gallon brewer as well. So you can adjust that control valve to get your right level that you're, you're looking for. So that pretty much sums that up. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and demonstrate how everything brews. Be back. Okay, I'm back. I have filled up the 20 gallon brewer uh, with rainwater. And it's brewing right now, aerating. Um, there's the 3.5 gallon vortex bucket that comes along with the uh, 20 gallon brewer it's vortexing my water it's mixing and stirring the uh, container down below additional container and I approximately am brewing or well, will be brewing 40 gallons of tea um, like I said when you purchase the 20 gallon brewer the vortex bucket comes along with it the submersible pump comes with it. The, the eco air pump comes along with it. The uh, wand, the compost wand, and the overflow protection. You get the stand as well. So basically, everything you see here comes with this with the purchase of the 20 gallon brewer. The only thing that doesn't come with it is this stand pipe and that stand pipe is not glued it is removable and you can uh, take it out it's on a 182 this this uh, shutoff valve is actually a three-piece union shutoff valve and this whole thing pivots 180 so that's the only thing that's not included so you have to go out and get yourself an inch and a half uh, stick of PVC to put on there so here's the wand it's doing its thing I can kind of show you can hear the, the vacuum if you listen you can hear the vacuum taking place and you can see you get a good shot of how this air rates and you can hear it just creating that vacuum so this guy works real well so now the next step is I'm gonna apply my compost for you. Um, I have worm castings, bat guana poop, um, bone meal, and I'm gonna mix in here. I'm gonna weigh this for you so you can see how much I'm putting in applying. Um, it's approximately a little over 20 pounds. So I'll weigh that for you. 20.5 pounds of compost I'm going to apply in this. So here we go. Alright, I'm going to set this up. Alright. And the compost is put in there directly into the brewer. Put it in raw. You don't have to use a 
filtering sock of any sort. Um, you can, but it, my preferred method is to pour it in raw. So here we go. Try not to make a mess of, of this. Finish it off there. Ah, I'm making a hell of a mess. Alright, you can see I poured it in there. So, now you can take your wand, and your wand is used to clean off all your mess you just made. And I made, anyways. So you can kind of clean everything off. See how well that works. It's nice too because you can clean your filter with it if it starts getting clogged up at all. You can run your wand up and down your filter, kind of remove the debris. So there's that. There's your overflow protection. Um, Alright, so now I'm brewing. I just would add my. Um, Blackstrap molasses to this. Um, any any additional um, kind of nutrients you can think of. Ocean Solutions is a good nutrient. And it's organic. Um, so now we're brewing. Come over here to the vortex bucket. You can see how well that is dispensing out. You can see how rich that tea is immediately. works very well vortex bucket like I said um, reduces the um, molecules of the water makes water the molecules in the water smaller when you vortex it creates a vacuum when you vortex and with the vortex bucket being open-ended at the bottom and dispensing out it creates that swirling motion in your container in your additional container keeps all the fluid in motion if you don't have any hot stagnant uh, fluid in your in your brew and then you have your submersible pump here that pumps the, the tea back to your brewer which is attached to your wand and the wand is here pumping the tea back to my brewer and this is my patent pending closed loop brewer here that I designed so with overflow protection and that float valve right there controls the pump that's housing the additional container for any overflow issues so that pretty much sums it up real quick like I did make a mess when I poured that in, as you can see. I have to do a little cleanup, but this brewer works extremely well. Um, for the price of a 20 gallon brewer, you actually get a 40 gallon brewer. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.